Welcome to today's lesson and we have a quadratic here that we need to solve by using the completing the square method. Now the first step in this method is to eliminate the constant from the left hand side. So I've got this negative 13 here. What I'm going to do is to add 13. And if I add 13 to the left, I must add 13 to the right to keep the equation balanced. Now this positive and negative 13s, they'll cancel. So I'm left with 3x squared plus 9x is equal to 13. The next step is to look at the coefficient of the x squared term. I've got a 3 here, but it needs to be a 1. To get a 1 there, I would have to divide by 3. And if I divide this term by 3, I must divide every term by 3. Again, to keep the equation balanced. These threes will cancel, so that will leave me with x squared. The 9 divided by 3, well, that'll be 3, so I've got 3x. That is equal to 13 over 3. Now we're on to the completing the square step. So in other words, something on the left-hand side squared will be equal to 13 over 3 plus something else squared. Now inside the brackets, we're going to have an, an x here. So x squared, that gives me that x squared there. Then we look at the coefficient of the x term. And we use this to get what goes in here and across here. All right, well, we take that coefficient, it's positive, so I know I'm going to have a plus in here. And we've got a three, so we take that three and we divide it by two. So three over two. Now, obviously I do the same thing over here. I've got the three over two, but I need to square this. Okay, so what we've got so far is x plus three over two, that is squared, is equal to 13 over three, plus. Now if I square this, I've got the 3 squared, which is 9, and 2 squared, that will be 4. So x plus 3 over 2, that is squared, is equal to. Now we can add these fractions. So I'll just do that over here. So we've got 13 over 3, and we're adding 9 over 4. And the way I do this, I need to get a common denominator. So to get the common denominator, the 3 multiplied by the 4 is 12. And then just cross multiply. We've got the 13 times the 4, which is 52. And then we've got the 3 multiplied by the 9, which is 27. So that gives me 79 over 12. So 79 over 12. The next thing to eliminate is the squared on the left-hand side. And to do that, I need to take the square root. So if I take the square root on the left, I must take the square root on the right. So I must remember to put a plus and a minus in here. So if I take the square root of this number, I will get a positive and a negative answer. Now on the left-hand side, the square root and the squared will cancel. So we'll have x plus three over two. And that is equal to plus or minus the square root of 79 over 12. The last thing I need to do is to eliminate this positive 3 over 2 from the left. And to do that, I'm going to subtract 3 over 2. I need to subtract 3 over 2 from both sides. So I end up with x is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 79 over 12. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.